are we already in recession or are we still heading towards it? Now, the reason that we are asking this today is because massive layoffs still continue. Deloitte has now become the second among the big four financial consulting giants to announce job cuts. The London headquartered firm will cut around 1,200 jobs in the United States. Earlier, you would remember Ernst & Young had also announced massive job cuts, citing resistance from the top executive committee. Ernst & Young has reportedly told UK staff to brace for a wave of cuts. The pandemic overhiring, recession fear and wanting to reduce costs has led to this bloodbath. So what really is happening? Let's first talk about Deloitte. As we pointed out, Deloitte will cut as many as 1,200 jobs in the United States, which means that's going to be about 1.5% of the workforce that's going to be slashed. The departments, you ask? The risk and financial advisory department is going to be the impacted ones. The reasons? COVID overhiring is the reason behind this slash. Let's talk about what's happening in Ernst & Young then. About 5% of the workforce is going to be slashed as far as e is concerned. If you look at some numbers that are coming in from KPMG, there we are understanding about 2% of the workforce is going to be slashed. So the question then is, is your job really at risk? Let's talk about some other companies where massive layoffs have happened. If you look at some numbers that are coming out of Lyft, as many as 1,200 jobs are going to be cut. This, of course, is a move to reduce costs. Let's look at what's happening at Meta. Approximately 4,000 employees are going to be impacted, which means about 21,000 job cuts have already happened since November 2022.